Mm-hmm. Okay, so today I'm doing a video on birch polypores. These mushrooms are very good for um, cold if you're a little sick. Um, just helps make you feel a little better. Uh, most of the time people just cut these into little slivers, let them dry out, or they cook them right then. Um, I've seen other people literally cut everything off that they don't like. Um, but the best way I have found, because I've tried many different ways with this, um, is basically you can clean it up pretty easy. And the biggest thing with these is there is kind of a bitter taste with them. But once you clean them, it actually knocks down that bitter taste a little bit so it's not as bad. Um, the first thing you want to do is cut this stem off because you don't need that. And cutting these is a little difficult. It takes a little bit of, uh, you gotta push on a little hard. The next thing you want to do is, all this on here is actually a layer of, I don't know, it's dirt. Um, it does come right off and it helps get rid of some of the bit of flavor. Just scrub it off. I've seen other people cut this off. To me that's kind of a waste because you don't need to. Um, but while you're scrubbing it, you don't really want to saturate it with water because you're going to lose a lot of your antioxidants and vitamins and everything that's in here. So just kind of keep it wet, but not completely saturated. And uh, I'm using a nail brush. Seems to be about the best thing to use. Anything kind of scrub off this layer of brown. And I go around this edge a little bit too, just right here, because I'm going to keep that. And then the last thing that I do is all of this in here is is what uh, is the pores. So it seeds out the mushroom. But if you keep pushing on a little bit, you can actually peel this whole bottom layer off. And again, this is just to cut out some of the bitter taste that comes with this. But once you keep peeling it, it slowly comes all off. It doesn't completely get rid of the bitter taste because it's still there, but it does knock it down some, so it's not as bad. Um, it doesn't knock down the effects. Um, it still tastes and it's still. Um, what was I gonna say? Still um, helps with the uh, cold or whatever or sickness. Still helps there. So that was pretty much it. And then you, after that, I just cut it into little slivers. The only reason I do this is because I store stuff up. Right here, I have a bunch of it. And I dry it, it'll last for a long time like that. And anytime I want it, I just put it in a pot with some water and make some tea out of it. And it's good to go. And you come over here, you can see that I have. Much that I did already beforehand. Already drying out the screen. Take a day or two really to dry this out. It dries out pretty quick. Uh, you can't really eat this mushroom. I mean, you can eat it, it won't kill you, but it doesn't taste very good or anything. But that's, that's it. That's the easy way to clean it. And uh, it cuts down on the flavor, the bitter, bitterness flavor of it, but still gives you everything you want out of it.